two NBA games were also canceled. What was your reaction to the sports world kind of coming together and specifically the NBA world uh, all deciding not to play and, and for the social justice, for the whole protest movement? No, I, I completely get it. You know, it also it also gives powers to the players. You know, I'll get I'll give that to the them. You know, because uh, you know that way they, you know, I feel like maybe a lot of the time maybe they felt like they don't have a lot of control over what's going on, or don't have anything not really to say in the league, and it's all the league and not them. And and now it's all them and not the league. You know, it's them against the league, and it's not in a in a negative light against the league. It's a it's a you know more or less to be like you know we, you know obviously you speak out in a way. Uh, that's uh, you know, passive and uh, and impacting. But at the same time, you know, I I uh, I feel like you know they also take away from their own platform, you know, because they get the opportunity to you know you know play the game, and then every night you know the winning team gets to get on that you know gets that uh sideline interview and you know say say whatever they want you know and no one's gonna stop them you know and uh. I feel like that's a very powerful moment for them right there because they, they get to speak out and say anything they want in that moment to, you know, the hundreds and thousands of people who are watching their games at home and, uh, and you know, uh, impact them and tell them what's going on in the world. And they get to express that. And, you know, they're, they're, they're not getting the opportunity to say that because, you know, they're just deciding to play. But, I you know, I, I completely understand where the guys are coming from. And, uh, I mean, if they want to do that, that's great. That's beautiful. But uh, at the same time, you know, it it stinks because you know we basketball's back and you know at at the end of the day we uh we uh we love the game and want to continue to see the game play and at the same time I feel like they could play and send the message and they were already kind of doing that with the uh, you know the jerseys and kind of small things like that and then obviously all the guys you know they're being very vocal about what they're doing so I kind of wish they would have continued that but at the end of the day I mean this is their decision and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and if they're all with it I'm sure not everybody agrees with it in the league because you know some of them want to continue on and and getting better. And uh, I'm, I'm sure some of these uh, guys who were on shorter contracts or got picked up just uh, were kind of getting their time to show in, in the playoffs right now are kind of, a, you know, a little bit down because, you know, this is the their way to show up right now and uh, show what they're capable of and show off their talents, and they're not able to do that. And, uh, you know, that kind of hinders that for them too. And uh, also overall, I mean, just slowing down the league kind of stinks for, for a lot of people. I mean, we have, uh, you know, people who work within the league who are trying to figure out how they're going to get ready for, you know, next season. and. Uh, and all that, and I mean, we saw free agency, you know, the draft, and I mean, at this point, the draft's going to be going on at the same time as the as the players playing, and that's going to be a little weird, you know, and uh, you know, players get traded mid, you know, mid game. I mean, that's going to be weird, uh, you know, and we've had that happen, and it's it's just kind of an awkward situation. So, it's just a number of factors, you know. Yeah, for sure, and and I'm kind of on the same. Now, let me be clear here. I, I have no problem with them using their platform to protest. I'm not going to be that dude. I think it's I think it's an amazing gift that we have because generally speaking, this North Korea you're you're getting taken to the gulag, all right? If this is if this is uh, Russia with Putin, if this is China, um, you you can't protest in the ways that you do in America. Um, generally speaking, now America also is coming under fire as a whole for certain protests. Some of them. It really depends on the city you're in. The city, Some cities will let you entirely burn it to the ground if you want. Other ones, if you say something to a cop, they'll throw you to the ground and beat the shit out of you and arrest you. There's a massive issue with police um, – in, 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 what, what would the word be? Like being on the same page. You know what I mean? Inequality in, in, in different cities, right? That's a whole thing. That's a whole another conversation for another day. I had no problem with them using the platform. I personally would not do it the way that they would do it. You know, and it, they did make an impact in terms of the entire world was talking about them yesterday. The entire United States was talking about them yesterday. But at the same point, I I think canceling the playoffs as a whole and not showing up would really lose the luster that they're looking for. Because generally speaking, let's say the NBA, and they're not going to do this now. They apparently, the Lakers and the Clippers actually voted to not play the rest of the playoffs. Which was interesting to me, because uh, apparently Udonis Haslam in the meeting said if they're not, there was a players only meeting, and apparently Udonis Haslam of all people who I, I've never even heard his voice, and he's played in the NBA for 15 years. Um, he said like, listen, if the Lakers and the Clippers aren't going to play, we're not going to have the rest of the year. And I'm like, you know, he's right. Personally, I would do what somebody like Chris Paul is doing, because I know Chris Paul for the Oklahoma City Thunder, every single every single game, you guys can go back and watch the interviews. 
He's told people to sign up to vote. He's tried to bring justice to other issues. And because he's having a microphone in front of his face the entire day, he can say what he thinks. Closing off and stepping away from the microphone, shutting down the league, and then not taking that opportunity to speak to the media, to speak to the 35 million people that are watching, and only speaking to your base is not going to provide clarity. That's not going to provide the overreaching, um, you know, movement that you're trying to uh, like get you know what i mean and it's just my opinion and i don't i'm not saying it was the wrong way they did it and it's perfectly fine they can do it however way they want but i just don't understand the logic behind it because you're just closing your group off more in terms of your overreach because like you have an audience of people that are gonna have to listen to what you say and for better or for worse um, other leagues are not going to do this. The NBA was the one that nearly canceled their season last night. The MLB is not going to cancel the season. We'll cancel the game. You know, teams might. Um, the NFL is going to start up in a two weeks. Um, the NBA, best case scenario, is if they cancel their playoffs, and they still might. Who knows? Um, the players seem relatively like they're not on the same page of this issue. Um, if they cancel it, in 14 days the NFL begins, and they're going to be completely forgotten the news cycle. And that's not me being mean. I'm just very well aware of how news is in this country. So... You know, overall, I think it's a beautiful thing they're doing. I just, I don't know how successful it's going to be. 